We begin tonight, though, with a three news exclusive. DNA tests have been ordered for mysterious human bones found inside an old garage in Huron County. Now, while scientists have been able to figure out that the remains belong to a young girl, they have not been able to figure out who she was. Three News investigator Rachel Polanski explains how this testing could reveal her identity. It looks like a crime scene out of a movie. And so these bones were discovered in 2016. Correct. But we're not in Hollywood. We're in New London, Ohio, where 72 human bones were discovered in this old decrepit garage. Bones were located actually upstairs. A new owner found the remains back in 2016 when she bought the property and reported it to police. And she looked upstairs and she found some bones in a corner. She thought they were animal bones. She thought wrong. Forensic anthropologists believe the bones came from a young woman who died between the ages of 13 and 20, adding that the remains could be more than 40 years old. Well, it is a cold case, and we're actually at a crossroads right now. New London Police Chief Mike Marco says he hasn't given up on the case, but he admits there haven't been many leads. Well, this is an ongoing investigation, and we like to have some closure. That's where James Renner comes in. I remember hearing about this case in 2016 when uh, they found the bones in this, this barn. He runs the Porchlight Project, a nonprofit that will pay for the bones to be tested at a forensic lab. So what we're hoping uh, we can do is pull uh, a DNA profile from the bones that were found in this barn. And once they have that DNA profile, they can compare it to other profiles on genealogy websites, which could match with distant family members. DNA technology now is, um, it's, it's better than fingerprints. Bringing new hope. Cautiously optimistic that we'll, we'll get some closure here. In solving this cold case. And that DNA profile should be available within six weeks. Then it's just a matter of time of how long it takes to find a match. Now, one more interesting thing I want to note, Amy Mahalovic's body was found just three miles from where these bones were found. Rachel Polanski, 3 News. That is a very unusual circumstance, but obviously they may not be connected. Thanks so much, Rachel. Sure.